This video may just change your life. So listen the fuck up. Dealing with any kind of issue, this fucking video is the video for you. In this video, I am going to explain to you exactly how to step into your power, exactly how to step in to the real fucking you, to become the creator in your life, how to get back in the driver's seat and get out of the passenger seat of life. You will leave this video feeling more powerful than ever, more connected to your inner power, more connected to your confidence. Come back to this anytime that you are struggling or anytime that you need a reminder of who the fuck you really are. But I'm so excited for this video. <laughs> I can feel how powerful this feels all fucking ready. <laughs> What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Tawny Michelle and I do all things spiritual, astrology related, manifestation related, any kind of spiritual self-development, etc. topics. I likely know about them and do them. So if that's your vibe, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Please let me know down below. Is this your first time here? Are you coming back? I'm so glad that you're here because this video is about to change some mother effing lives, okay? I feel how powerful this video is. So no matter where you're you're at in your life, you're going to relate to this. You're going through a breakup. This is going to help you get back in your power. Okay, you're trying to manifest your dream life. This is going to help you get back into your power. Okay, you want to manifest your dream career. This is going to help you get back into your power to do those things. You're dealing with friend problems. You're dealing with any kind of issue. This fucking video is the video for you. This is the literal fundamental basics of spirituality, self-help, manifestation, all of it. Okay, like this is is the literal foundation of it. I am so passionate about empowerment, people taking their power back because I've went through a lot of really dark shit in my life. It's taking me years to learn these lessons that I'm about to share with you. So I want you to look at this as like, I'm an older sister or a friend sharing these things with you that are so, so valuable, so profound, and that can literally change your life if you allow them to. One of the first things, the first step in manifestation or in any kind of self-improvement, knowing who the fuck you are. It is an activation of your inner power. Most people I'm sure you've heard before will tell you you're the creator. You're the creator of your reality, this, that, and the other, but it's so much fucking more than that. When I'm talking about power, I want to make it clear in this video, I'm not talking about dictatorship or a lot of the egotistical, fear-driven ways that we look at power in the world or throughout history, etc. That is ego, lack, fear-based, driven power. A lot of people think power is having control over someone or something else. Circumstantial power of like, oh, I just got hired into this manager position. That is not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is the innate power that you have within you. You hold the power to do whatever you want in this life within you. You hold the power of chaos and destruction within you but you also hold the power of love and creation within you too. When you think of Gaia, when you think of this earth, it is literally creation. Everything is a creation, right? Everything that's here was created. We are here to fucking create, but so many times we forget who we really are and what we're really fucking capable of. We limit ourselves with these beliefs and stories of what we can or can't do. We limit ourselves with these excuses that keep us stuck and we get bogged down by life, our circumstances, other people, our belief systems, where we get kind of thrown into the passenger seat of life and feel like we have no idea where the fuck we're going, what's going on. We're just constantly in turbulence and we don't understand our inner power because every excuse or belief that you have about yourself and why you can or cannot do something is usually most of the time bullshit. It's something that can be proven wrong. If you've always wanted to be a doctor, but you have a belief that that's not fucking possible for you because of where you come from, there's people that have came from where you've came from and that have been able to be doctors. So other people have likely had those circumstances. Other people have likely had those situations and they still fucking did what they wanted to do. Why? Because they knew that they were capable of more and that's where it starts. Why don't we have our power and where is our power going? We do this in really sneaky, subconscious ways. You can never give your power away. No one can ever take your power from you. You cannot give another person your power. I'm wording this differently, but really you can never actually give your power away. It's just a term that I use. When you realize your power, step back into your inner power. It was all, always there, right? You were just under an illusion that you didn't have it, right? So it's always illusionary. It never went anywhere. It's always a matter of realizing it again. So a lot of the 
times, especially if we are starting in this like frantic state, if we are in lack or we are trying to force something, if we are pushing, if we are fighting, if we are trying too hard, we're not in our power because stop and think about this. If you were in your power, would you have to do that? If you knew who you really fucking were, a fucking creator, a fucking God, would you need to do that? If we are trying to force something, we are usually under the illusion that something has more power than we do. So the first step, a lot of the times for us to realize who the fuck we are and how powerful we are is actually to surrender to what we are powerless over. And I know this seems like a paradox and it cracks me up every single time when I still catch myself having to do this or moving through something like this because it's like, oh, I just needed to surrender and admit that I'm powerless to realize that I'm fucking powerful. <laughs> if we've gotten to that point where we're frustrated, we're stuck, we're lost, we're, you know, just all over the place, trying to force circumstances, we're not in our power, we're not trusting that things are going to work out for us because we're powerful. So usually step one for a lot of people is a complete surrender and acceptance of what is. Whatever the fuck you're scared of, whatever you're fighting, whatever you're freaking out about, just accept it. Like, okay, yeah, it sucks. Okay, yeah, fuck it. It does not mean that we don't have power and it does not mean anything about our own internal power. It just means that for whatever reason, right now in this situation, it's not meant to be and I'm done wasting my energy on something that isn't aligned because that's the thing. It's not aligned in some way doesn't mean that it will always not be aligned a good example is like if you're in a toxic relationship and you keep trying to make it work if you were in your power you would know what to do you wouldn't be trying to force it to work you wouldn't be like trying to fit a square peg in a round hole you know that comes from fear and lack which pulls us out of our power out of our power from that place of just surrendering to what you're powerless over and just accepting things become really fucking clear because you think of it this way whatever you fight you feed so whatever you're fighting you're getting giving power to. You're saying that that has more power than you. You're in fear either way. Think about it like this. It's like you're trying to fight darkness with darkness and that just makes it more powerful. That just feeds it, right? You can't fight your shadows with other shadows. It's like, oh, I have this insecurity and I'm trying to stuff it down. So you're resisting and you have an insecurity, right? You're trying to fight your shadow with more shadows. So instead, you embrace it. You embrace it. You go into it and by embracing it, which is lighter, which is more of a oneness, right? Which is more of a, come here, let me give you a, a big fat hug kind of energy. You're going into that shadow with light. You're no longer like, get away from me, get away. Again, whatever you fight, you feed. You're actually embracing it instead of running from it. This is personal power because when you embrace it, you're saying, I know I can handle this, whatever it is. I'm not scared of it. I don't need to run from it. I don't need to fight it. I don't need to be in conflict with it. We don't think about what we're saying when we run from things, when we resist things, when we fight things. We don't think about the opposite side of that, of us saying to ourselves by doing those things that we can't handle them. That, oh, I couldn't handle that. Oh, that's too much. Oh, I can't deal with that. You know, lack, lack, lack hits against our inner power. Like we don't think about those kinds of things. You heal by embracing things with light, right? And acceptance and surrender is a form of that. So surrendering is the first step. Like just the other day, I was having a weird day. I had some fears going on. I had to go to the store and I really didn't want to go to the store. And I was being such a baby about it. I was like, oh my God, like I really don't want to go to the store. I felt like so difficult for me to, to just go to the store that day for some reason because I was like in my fears and the stories I was telling myself was like, oh, I can't handle this. This is too much for me. It was just like stupid stuff in my head that I like saw myself thinking and eventually I realized what was happening and I was like, dude, no, you are powerful all on your own. You can go to the store. It's not that serious, right? Like it's things like that, little ways like that, that we do this to ourselves, that we underestimate ourselves, that we don't see our true fucking power we forget who we really fucking are so that day because i was so in fear i eventually had to surrender and feel the fear embrace the fear accept the fear and then also not dwell in it because that's another thing that's another thing that really holds us out of our power we dwell on the freaking past and this leads into my next example too but we like to be so attached to our pain so attached to to what we went through and our excuses and why we can't and you know our family couldn't and this is how i was raised in my childhood trauma and my old friends and what happened to me and yada 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 screw that it only has a hold over you if you want it to because you are the one in power here darlings you are the ones with the fucking power if you want that stuff to be your story on why you can't couldn't and won't 
then let it. It can if that's what you want. But if you're sick of all that shit, then let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Don't let your past, your pain, all that shit hold you back. I've been through it all. Okay, I've been through it all. I've been through sexual assault. I've been through drug addiction, breakups. I've been through loss. I've lost both of my freaking parents at a young age. Like I have been through so much freaking death. I've been homeless. I've slept out of my car. I mean, I have done it fucking all. And I can continue to let that story be why I'll never be successful or why I'll never will do anything or it can be the reason that I will be fucking successful because it is my story, it is my before and after and that is powerful. That is fucking powerful. It's actually beautiful to me now. It's not something that I allow to hold me back to keep me chained. But like I said, don't dwell on your freaking past. The next step, give yourself fucking permission to have more, to be capable of more, to have what you want, to have your desires, to be successful, whatever it is that you want, give yourself permission and stop fucking waiting on someone to save you. Stop waiting on someone else to give you permission. Stop waiting on the world to be ready for you, for your family, for your friends to like you, for other people to like invite you or want you or whatever. Stop fucking waiting on that. Stop waiting on everything else for every little thing in the world to be aligned for you to feel safe enough to do whatever it is that you're holding yourself back from. Stop waiting on permission. Stop blaming your past. Stop blaming your family, other people. Stop looking to your circumstances. Stop blaming your circumstances. That's the big one. We all want to blame. Well, I don't have this. Well, I'm this and I this and this is my current situation and this is my circuit. Who fucking cares? None of that is more powerful than you. Oh, you lost your job? Guess what? Your job is not more powerful than you. Oh, you don't have money right now? Guess what? Money's not more powerful than you. Oh, well, you're not where you want to be right now? Well, your circumstances don't have power. You do. Because by you waiting on everything else, everyone else, your circumstances, etc., you're saying that all of that stuff is the reason that you can't. And really, all that is is a cover-up for you to not take accountability. And that's really the next step. Take fucking accountability for where you're at in your life right now. Yes, there may have been times throughout your life that you were a victim, that shitty shit did come your way that you weren't a part of that you didn't have a part in I get that I have been there but it unfortunately is on you right now in your life to choose to heal from that shit to choose to move forward to choose what it is that you really fucking want in your life to choose the kind of person that you're gonna be you can keep dwelling again dwelling on the past shit or you can let it freaking propel you forward rock bottom is a fucking launch pad right it really freaking is you can let that be a part of your story and end up being a beautiful thing or you can keep dwelling in it you can keep letting it hold you back in your life or you can decide that it doesn't have fucking power over you anymore by you blaming other shit you're basically telling yourself that that shit's more powerful than you and you don't believe in yourself so why why the fuck would you tell yourself that why are you telling yourself that why do you believe that about yourself so what happened was i stopped waiting on my circumstances and i gave my own self permission and i stopped waiting for it from everybody fucking else so take accountability. Your circumstances are just circumstances. Anybody can have those circumstances and still succeed or still have the goal that you have or still be where you want to be. We got to stop being the victim of our circumstances, our past. We have to take responsibility for where we are at now and our own future and our present moment. Our present moment literally is the key to our future. Our present moment dictates our future. It's all happening right fucking now. So that shit that happened yesterday, last week, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, doesn't freaking matter now unless you want it to. So stop blaming others. Stop putting the responsibility on others for your freaking emotions for your feelings those are your feelings stop allowing other people to think that they have some kind of power over that because they don't they can't control your feelings you can't even control your feelings half the time right because at the end of the day here's the thing you decide what you can and cannot do what you can and cannot have nobody else the world government society whatever nobody else does but you people have came from similar backgrounds similar circumstances etc etc and they have gotten shit done they have made 
miracles happen, things that you would never have thought of possible. There are so many examples out there of people that likely had a similar situation to you and still fucking did that shit, right? So remember who the fuck you are because likely you've been through something way worse than whatever it is that you're going through right now and you survived it because what? your inner power. So where are you letting your power slip or where are you giving your power away, metaphorically speaking? So you take back your power by taking responsibility for your life and for where you're at now. This is how you get back in the driver's seat after you've done the other steps because you are the creator, okay? You are the creator. You create the life that you want or you sit by and think that you have no power in creating the life that you want and let your circumstances dictate how your life is gonna go even though your circumstances aren't even real things, okay? Like your the house that you live in, the car that you drive, the neighborhood you live in, the jobs that you, like none of that is real shit. It doesn't have living, breathing, inner freaking power in it like you do. So a huge, huge affirmation that I came up with for me personally that I downloaded one time and a journey of my own inner power was when I take responsibility for my world, my world changes. Because here's the thing, life is just being life. Okay, like that tree outside my window is just being the tree. I can't get mad at the tree because the tree is in my way or because I bump into it one day, right? So you blaming your circumstances is like literally me blaming that tree. Life is just being life. People are just being people, right? They're doing what they think is right for them or what they think is best for them, whatever at the time. Everyone is just doing what they think they should do, right? What is what it really comes down to. When we have a problem with that though, when I have a problem with the tree, it is not the tree's problem. It is my problem. When we have a problem with life, it is our problem. No one else's problem. It is not life's problem. And I know some of this shit may be hard for some of you guys to hear. I get it, but it is the truth because you are more powerful than that. You are more powerful than that. It's just your ego trying to hide. If some of this stuff is upsetting you or triggering you, whether it's in a good or bad way, it's your ego getting triggered and trying to hide because it likes to try to hide so you can stay in fear, so you don't have to take responsibility, so you don't have to step into your power because it's hard, because you're scared, because it's uncomfortable, because of whatever, but you are more powerful than that and you can and you know you can deep down. So when you start listening to that, things start changing rapidly and things start manifesting really fucking rapidly. No one is coming to save you. No one is going to come in and save you. Something is not going to come in and just randomly make something happen and make all your dreams come true. Like you have to be the one that wants that. You have to be the driving force. Who else is gonna do it? Who else is gonna direct your life but you? The next really big thing when it comes to inner power is living in integrity, living clean, doing things that feel right within you, not shady or icky. And the reason I'm saying this is because so many times it is shame, guilt, doing things that are just kind of slimy or that we don't feel too great about that doesn't feel good in our system. When we do those things that don't feel good, they end up haunting us and eventually bite us in the ass. They end up taking us out of, again, metaphorically speaking, our inner power, because we know that we're more powerful than that. We know that we're better than that deep down. And so why are we doing this? It's almost like you're in a relationship, but kind of like flirting with someone and, and you know, deep down, like, oh, I should not be doing this right now. And it doesn't feel good, but you keep doing it to kind of please the other person or whatever the case may be. That comes back to bite you in the ass because you don't end up feeling good about yourself. You're not in your integrity. It didn't feel good to you. Obviously, if things like that don't bother you, then disregard that. It's things that actually bother you. Things that you feel deep down like this isn't right. You know, I shouldn't have lied or I shouldn't really be talking to this person or I should be asserting a boundary here, you know? So you have to start listening to yourself, listening to your internal guidance system on like, do you feel clean inside with the decisions that you're making? If not, then stop making those fucking decisions or see where you are making the decisions that are actually keeping you in lack and not keeping you in your power or where are you being around different environments or situations where you're not in your power. And again, it's not those environments or situations. It's you, for whatever reason, you don't feel you can be in your power in those environments and situations, and that's work that you need to figure out. It does mean that you can avoid those environments and situations for a little bit until you figure it out, you know, until you figure out what's going on inside of you that 
feels weird about it, but this is inner power work. That's something I always say is avoiding conflict externally creates it internally. You think that we're avoiding conflict by pleasing others and not having boundaries and yada, 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 doing things that are really against how we feel internally, yet when we do that, it creates conflict internally because we end up being mad at ourselves. We end up regretting it. We end up feeling not good about ourselves. We don't don't feel clean internally. And so integrity and being in your integrity and being clean, feeling clean on the inside is so, so important. Another thing, stop focusing on what you are powerless over, right? Like stop focusing on the things that you don't have power in right now. If it's somebody else and their life and you have no fucking power over what they do or what they do, aside, stop focusing on that, right? That's not your shit to focus on. You can have empathy, you can care, but it does not mean that you have to get wrapped up in it, right? Or try to control it or whatever. Again, back to the very first step that will take you out of your power. So this also comes with forgiveness and forgiveness is basically taking responsibility for your part and your emotions, whether it's something within you that you need to forgive yourself for, or whether it's for someone else. You have to take responsibility for your part, if you did have a part in it, and your emotions. That's what forgiveness is. It's really like acceptance of what is and acceptance of the feelings involved, taking accountability for any part you may have had and any emotions that you may have had from it and feeling those, accepting those, embracing those instead of resisting those, which can be very, very powerful because when we have resentments towards other people, again, we're making them accountable and responsible for how we feel. That is not fair. Our feelings are inside of us. Yeah, they may have done something that is questionable or malicious or not right in some way, but that's on them. They have their own shit. They have their own inner power and they can figure that out for themselves, right? They can deal with that. But we have to deal with our side of the street. We have to keep our side of the street clean. That is what inner power work is all about. And the last thing that I want to leave this video with, this has been such an amazing video. Comment down below if you are still here. Oh my God, like I am just like, but I cannot wait to edit and post this video already. Like I just, I feel like it's gonna be so freaking good. Last but not least, you are already everything that you want to be. You just don't see it. You just have illusions that you are not. And that is the issue. It's not about becoming someone better or becoming something else. It's about embracing who you already fucking are and clearing out the reasons, the blockages and the illusions that you tell yourself that convince you that you're not already that. So when will you realize that you are fucking everything already? And that realization comes when you start doing this kind of work and it's really beautiful, you stop trying to hide certain things or be something that you're not and you just embrace who you really fucking are. Anyway, that is this video, a powerful fucking, like I, I just, I cannot even believe it. I've been typing up the notes for this video for weeks now and I just, oh my God, I feel like I'm on, on like a high right now after doing this video, it's absolutely amazing. So let me know down below what you thought, if this video was really impactful for you, if it was powerful for you. If you learn new things, come back to this whenever you feel you need to, whenever you feel like you are struggling. And thank you guys so, so, so much for staying this long if you did. And again, if you did, comment down below and let me know. I would really appreciate it. Share this with anybody that you think really needs to hear this right now, that you really think needs a dose of their own inner power to step into their own highest potential and truth, because I'm pretty sure they will be grateful for it. And then also, so if you would like more of this talk, if you would truly, truly love to step into your inner power and get help with that and get even more in-depth stuff about stepping into your inner power, my signature program, Goddess Mode, is linked down below. It is literally the best program I have ever done in my life. I mean, that program is literally, we're stepping into your power as a woman. So it is for women only, but it is about embracing all aspects of being a woman, stepping into your power, the balance between your masculine and feminine, owning your feminine and healing your feminine, accepting your body, embracing your body, embracing your wildness, and just all of the things. So if you really, really would like more about stepping into your inner power, that program is down below. If you would like something shorter, but still very powerful for everybody, then my other program, Phoenix, that we just finished a few weeks ago, 
ago is also linked down below if you would like to check that out. It is uh, a shorter program and it's more affordable, but it still packs a punch. And so if you're going through something and you would like some guidance through it in a short amount of time to really get through it, then that program will really, really help you. The feedback on both programs has been absolutely phenomenal, but Goddess Mode literally changed lives. <laughs> lives, it changed my life, you know, like just, I went through the program myself in my experience as I was kind of on this awakening channeling journey that where I was channeling all of these lessons and some of them I talked about in this video, but and that is how Goddess Mode came to be. Once I went through the journey, I created a program on exactly everything I learned, exactly everything I went through and guided a lot of other women through it. And it was just absolutely life-changing. Some of those women I still work with today and seeing just how much their lives have changed this year from taking that program is absolutely phenomenal. So I will get off of here now though. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Again, let me know down below if you stayed the whole way and I will see you guys in my next one.